Why the big hurry? If Dr. Carlo is not extracted tonight, Data Dime will put him through mind conditioning. And we'll lose our best chance of finding out what Data Dime are up to. Are they all expendable? Don't joke. You have to be careful, Joanna. Code keys will only operate while the owner is alive. If you kill them, the key is useless. Arm guards are a different matter, of course. What's the target location? Work your way down the building to the ground level. Dr. Cowell will be in a research lab somewhere in the underground facility. How will I recognize him? We don't have an image record, and we can't find any official files. All we have is the name. Good luck, Perfect Doc. Dr. Carroll, are you here? Well, is it safe to come out? Yes, all clear. Wh what? You're... Very professionally done, my dear. But there's no time to waste. You must leave immediately. Come on! I have vital information. You must protect me. Going somewhere. Something I can do for you, old woman. Return our sapient immediately. You don't know what you're doing. Yes, I do. I'm leaving. One more chance. Give it back. And you could come and work for me. Sorry, got a shoot. <laughs> You must get the sapient back. We cannot proceed without it. I know that. I also know who to talk to. Mr. Carrington. Agent Dark, mission log 1846 hours. Last night we got a call from Cassandra de Vries. A Datadyne team have taken Daniel Carrington hostage at his private villa on the coast, and they say they will spare his life in exchange for the AI. Unfortunately, we don't have it. Daniel and Dr. Carroll were at the villa to discuss matters of mutual interest. It looks like Daniel found a way to hide Dr. Carroll inside the villa when the Datadyne hit squad arrived. Hopefully, our phony negotiator ploy will give me a chance to surprise the Datadyne squad. This time, it's not just my life on the line. Yeah. Sir, are you injured? No, Joanna, I'm okay. Those Datadyne thugs made me tell them where I'd hidden Dr. Carroll. Only I'd held out for a few minutes more. 
It's not your fault, sir. I should have been quicker. Don't blame yourself, Joanna. Dr. Carroll told me that he expected this to happen. Actually, when they recaptured him, the Data Dying team got overconfident and let slip a few facts when they thought I was unconscious. They mentioned a meeting in the G5 building in Chicago, Illinois tonight. I want you to be there. But that doesn't leave you a lot of time to get ready. That won't be a problem, sir. So, did Dr. Carroll have any useful information for you? Oh, yes, indeed. He certainly did. And I'll brief you when you're on your route to Chicago. We might still be able to help him, even after those butchers remove his personality. He thinks they'll keep a copy of it in a safe place. About time I called in some friends to deal with Datadyne. Is this help you keep referring to? Not now, Joanna. Time for radio silence. Good luck. Thanks a lot. We've recovered the sapient from Carrington and altered its programming. It no longer has a personality, so there will be no further incidents. This will reduce its efficiency. My team will have to take it to the core themselves. This will endanger them. You should have anticipated that the sapient might develop a troublesome moral code. No one could have predicted that, and I resent being singled out for blame. What about him? The President's turned down your request for the loan of the Pelagic too. Could it be you overestimated your influence over him? No. Perhaps I underestimated his resolve. We have a contingency plan ready to go, and we will move as soon as the Presidential Honorash arrives at the airbase. All I need from the President is a tissue sample. <laughs> Assuming you don't get any interference. If Carrington has pieced together enough of this, he will have called for reinforcements. There will be no outside help from Mr. Carrington. The technology you gave us is installed in Nevada and fully operational. We can intercept any craft they use. Then the devices we gave you are working correctly. Good because we believe anything which does not work correctly should be destroyed. Consider that as you follow your backup plans. Agent Dark reporting in. Prepare to receive a download of the meeting data. I want to request from Institute Support Team to protect the President before he goes to Alaska. No time for that now, Agent Dark. There's been a development during radio silence. The craft carrying those friends I was talking about was shot down over Nevada. The weapon responsible was found from Area 51. That's where the survivors and debris will have been taken. You're to prep for immediate dispatch when you return here. Carrington out. What was about the president?
Okay, Joanna, take a look at this. Our operative inside Area 51 was able to get this out to us. This is your entry point. A deserted helipad on the edge of the base. The lift down to the hangars and the rendezvous point is beyond that wall. Watch out for these guards. Here's the communications antenna. Attach a comms rider bug so we can talk to you when you're inside the base. Again, watch out for hostiles. Oh my god! Here is our friend. He appears to be physically in hurt, though he hasn't regained consciousness yet. By the look of it, the surgeons are almost done with their preliminary tests and will begin dissection soon. But who was... Any questions? No. Good. Away you go to the hangar. Agent Dark, mission log, 1028 hours. Against my better judgment, I'm about to enter Area 51. Yeah. Agent Dark, over here. There you are. I was beginning to wonder if... If what? If you've been discovered yet. And frankly, if this is how you work, I'm amazed that you lasted longer than five minutes. I was tidying up one of your loose ends. My loose ends? I'm sorry. I didn't realize you wanted him to shoot you. I can call in some more guards if you like. Okay, okay. Forget about it. I'm going to let the Institute know we've made contact. The problem you have is that there is no way to sneak into the research section. The only way in available to you is a weak section of wall like marked in the room beyond the stores. It can be destroyed with explosives. Doesn't sound like a problem to me. Where are these explosives? in that crate. Cute. Very cute. By the way, the stores are crawling with guards. It may go against your nature, but try sneaking through rather than blasting everything. Certainly. Any other pearls of wisdom? That crate. Yes. It really doesn't like being shot. Great. Now if I can just fight the urge to report him to base security. Put your hands up and step away from the alien. Don't make me tell you again, Doctor. And turn that laser off. do you think you're doing? This is supposed to be a sealed room. Don't you know anything about autopsy procedures? I don't care much for procedures. Director Easton will hear about this young lady. You can't take that. It's government property. This is intolerable. It's, it's unprofessional. Let's see how that overconfident thief deals with our gas defense system. She'll think twice before messing with me again. What's that noise? Can't be. Gas! No! That wasn't meant to happen! You idiot! We'd better get out of here. I'm alive! 
I thought I'd be chopped up like the others by now. You're from the Institute, aren't you? I recognize you from before. You helped me. Thank you. You... you speak our language? Watch her, she's sharp. What's wrong? I have a headache. And with a head this big, that's no joke. Can you walk? We must leave before they get organized and hunt us down. I think so. What's your name? I'm Agent Dark. Or Joanna, if you'd prefer. Well, Joanna, I'm Protector One. But you can call me Elvis. Dark in position. I can see the main entrance to the base, and I can just make out the cable car arrival point. Excellent, Joanna. That cable car is your way in. Our observer at the lower terminus has spotted a member of a flight crew boarding a minute ago. She is being escorted by air-based troops. I don't have to remind you that... But they're probably innocent of any involvement in Trent's little scheme. They can't shoot at them, even if they shoot at me. What about the NSA agents? I don't know how far the conspiracy has spread through the NSA, but I'm willing to bet that the men Trent has around them here are loyal to him and his plan. You have to get the evidence of Trent's betrayal onto Air Force One and show it to the President. Yes, and protect him from his abductors. Do you have any idea what Trent's plan might be yet? What about those blonde guys? Only vague suspicions, and I won't distract you with those. Good luck, Callington out. Have you thought any more about that proposal I gave you, sir? My answer remains the same. I'm sorry, Trent, but no. I won't loan the Pelagic 2 to Datadyne. Now please, can we move on to other matters? But this is a golden opportunity to show that America has faith in its industries and will back them. Damn it, man. I say no, and I mean no. I'm not going to change my mind on this. I need my advisors to be unbiased. And recently, you've not been giving me the impartiality I require. Let it go, and we'll say no more. This is your last chance. As you wish, sir. My last chance? <laughs> you fool. That was yours. from the fuselage. Can you take it out? It's okay, Joanna. What's this? Uh-oh. Watch what? Will you stop playing around and shoot? Out of options. Joanna, brace yourself for impact. Oh, 
Agent Dark, please report. Oh. Perfect Dark, come in. A Agent Dark, reporting in. Agent Dark, please reply. Something's jamming my transmissions. It's coming from that other craft. I'd better find the jamming device and check that Elvis is okay. Not forgetting the president, of course. How are you feeling, Mr. President? Better now, young lady. Today, I think it will take a while for me to get over. I can't believe Easton would do such a thing. I knew he was ambitious, yes, but this... Just one thing, sir. What is the Pelagic II that Trent wanted so badly? It's a U.S. government deep-sea research vessel. One of a kind. The only ship that can conduct a full-scale diving operation at extreme depth. Trent wanted me to loan it to the Datadyne Corporation, but I refused. Trent has a lot to answer for, but I don't think we'll find him now. You have failed, Easton. You are a flawed device, and we need you no longer. Just try it, you Scandinavian freak! operation has been disrupted on the surface. Time for a swim. I hope the government don't want to use this ship anytime <laughs> soon. Did you think we were a little heavy-handed? No. <laughs> doesn't seem normal. No one's around. No signs of conflict. No spent ammo cases or bullet holes. But there ought to be a rear guard at least. It makes no sense. There has to be someone further inside. Cover me. Here goes. I just hope Datadyne haven't done anything to prevent this. Virus detected. Me and my big mouth. Commencing countermeasures. Commence. Dr. Powell? 
Are you in control again? Can you stop the program? Yes, I'm back again, my dear. But the program has run far too long for me to prevent it from complete. There's only one way out now. What do you mean? When the program has run, I will have control of a vastly powerful weapon. It cannot be allowed to exist. So I must destroy the Seton. And unfortunately, myself along with it. I'm sorry, Joanna. There's no other way. And no time to discuss this. Go now! Avoid the Skedar and you will have time to escape. It has been an honor to work with you. Goodbye, Joanna Dark. Already, Joanna? We can't keep the main delegation waiting. Or the President, of course. Am I ready? What do you mean? I was ready half an hour ago. It was you holding us up. But you know how it is, Joanna. I had to make sure my hair was just right. And then there was the suit. They should keep you away from mirrors. Nervous? Very. I've waited for this moment for so many years. Contact. Friendly contact between humans and men's is what the Institute was founded for. And in a few minutes we'll be at the White House, and it will finally happen. Where did that come from? It was up on ground level. Hey! Looks like someone doesn't know when to quit. We've got to get everyone out. not be where I think I am. And it's worse than that, my dear. Just look who you've got for company. You? I thought you'd managed to escape. We found no trace of you at all. You couldn't find me, but there was no hiding from the Skedar, as you and Mr. Carrington just discovered. This is it. Wait there. I'll make a distraction. It will give you a chance to get out. Use it, or we'll both die. Why are you doing this, Cassandra? The Skidar used me, Joanna. You were my best chance for revenge. Wow, that's the first time I've seen another planet from space. It's beautiful. Hmm? I don't... I don't believe it! Elvis? What is it? Where are you going? We have to get down to the surface! Follow me! Get off 
fanatics most holy place. They believe this planet is sacred ground. The battle shrine is located at the most holy part of this holy planet. So let me get this straight. It's holy. But there's more to it than that, isn't there? Yes. In all of the time that we lions fought the Skidar, we never found this place. We knew that if Turek was destroyed, the war would never be over. We fought the Skidar to a standstill. We earned a ceasefire. But we always had to be on our guard. The destruction of this place would be a chance of true peace. Then we have to be certain that no fanatics survive. I'll go in and take out the leader. You'll have to summon the Mayan fleet to level the shrine. If you're caught on the ground when the fleet gets you, you won't stand a chance. That's a mistake I don't intend to make. in no time. No! Quick! Give me your gun! Will you just... Let go! I managed to get the fleet to stop the bombardment when I looked for you. They'll start as soon as we're clear. I'd have got out in time if that one hadn't grabbed my foot. Of course, Joanna, of course. No, I would have. I believe you. <laughs> 